everyone today's tutorial is um, the next video in the video game heroin series and it's inspired by Ada Wong from the Resident Evil games and this was actually a ver viewer request um, by um, girlish gamer one and so she requested this look for Ada Wong and she wanted like a mix between the look that I had for Nina Williams and for Claire Redfield who is also a Resident Evil character. So I think um, for those of you who have seen the, res the Resident Evil, sorry, the video game heroin series, you'll notice that this look looks a little similar to um, Nina's smoky eye. And the only thing different about it is that um, in my crease, I'm not using, you know, a purple eyeshadow. I'm using more of like a plummy burgundy eyeshadow. And of course, for the lips, um, usually for smoky eyes, I just leave um, my lips with a nude color. Um, in this case, because I've seen lots of Ada's pictures, she has like a purple shade to her lips. So I decided to... Um, put like a purpley shade of lipstick today and to so um, an announcement um, This is my 10th video of the video game heroin series and I As much as I don't want to do it I'm gonna have to close the requests for the series because I'm planning to do a final video maybe within the next month or so or so so I have, I think, one or two requests left, and then I'll do a final video with a look that um, that I've been wanting to do on a heroine that I've been wanting to bring in. And so, yeah, I'm sorry to say that, you know, I'm closing the request, and um, yeah, but I am thankful for all of you who have been watching my videos, who've been keeping up with the video game heroine series. Thank you so much. Um... You have no idea how much that means to me. So thank you, and um, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, so I already applied my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I applied NYX Jumbo Pencil in um, milk, and I also applied tape on um, the side of my eye just to give that sharp um, look that I have on this side. So first I'm going to apply the the main color besides the black and I'm using these two colors right here this one over here is like a plum color and this one's a little bit like a bright red well not a bright red but like a burgundy red and so I'm just mixing the two and just apply that from your lid and up to the crease You should have something like that and don't worry if it's not perfect we're gonna go back and soften it out. I'm just gonna take a regular black eyeliner pencil and then I'm gonna use this as a base and you want to go as close to your lash line as possible. Okay since my eyeliner is a little bit dry I am going to add just a little bit of NYX's Black Bean just to make it easier to blend out. Now I'm just going to take a smudger brush and I'm just going to smudge that base out. Okay, so now you should have something like this. So your base should be spread out all over your lid. Now I'm going to take a matte black eyeshadow. You can use any matte black eyeshadow and I'm just taking my e.l.f. shader brush. So I'm just going to pick that up and I'm going to start from my lash line going up. So I'm just going to pat that black on there. Remembering to concentrate the darkest color to your lash line and then have it fade up into your crease. So just keep adding little by little. Now I'm just going to take my 217 and just soften out the edges. Still using my 217 brush, I'm taking the two colors that we applied to the lid. 
and you don't want to take too much because you already have some of that color on your crease already we're just using this to fade that black into the burgundy color for my highlight I'm going to use Satisfy, this color right here. You want to take that into your inner corner of the eye. And if you want, you can just take a fluffy brush just to make sure the edges are all softened out. You don't want any harsh lines. So now I'm just going to take off this tape, that nice sharp line on the end. And so now for my lower lash line, I'm just going to apply a black eyeliner pencil and just apply that to my lower lash line. Not on your waterline yet. So I'm going to take my smudger brush again and then take a little bit of the black eyeshadow and smudge that onto the eyeliner. And so with a flat shader brush, again, I'm just going to take these two colors over here and just apply that right under the black. And you want to get it in there and blend it so it looks more diffused. Should I have something like that? And so I'm just going to take a Q-tip and just clean it up a little bit. And so that's all for the eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply some mascara and some eyeliner to my waterline. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I applied my mascara and eyeliner to my waterline. And I also forgot to mention that in the outer corner where you have this straight line that we made, um, I just lined it with a white liner pencil, and this is NYX's white. And then I topped it off with a matte white eyeshadow, so it looks a little bit more defined. And so I also applied blush a blush and I use, used Max Breath of Plum going for like plummy burgundy colors so for my lips I'm going to use um, a purple shade I noticed in Ada's pictures she has like light purple not light purple but it's like a purple shade to her lips so that's what I'm gonna do today and I'm going to use Revlon's pearl lipstick it's this one right here And then I'm just going to top it off with L'Oreal Hips Arresting Lip Gloss. And so this is the final look. And so that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.